and it is a goal. And it has the keeper stumped. And Brazil have their opener. And there's a big smile there from Marco Octavio. And Brazil have their early goal. And Mitch, what do you make of that one? Yeah, typical beach soccer. When um, the UAE don't need... But as mentioned, that little bit of luck maybe not going their way. And they're in here, Brazil, and... They do get their second. It's last year's MVP, Morishinho, who gets it right before the end of the first period. And I think it looks like the runners didn't all make it back in time and with Morosinho and I think it looked like it would. And the UAE tried to respond there, but again, can't find the shot on target. And Brazil got to come forward again. And that is unstoppable. There's nothing sloppy about that one. What a finish. He scored a screamer yesterday. And Thanger again with another corker. Is there anything sloppy about that one, Mitch? No, <laughs> nothing sloppy about that at all. A bit, probably a shame, I think, Walid will be annoyed that he didn't get off the ground. And, but it came at him a bit quickly, I think. Um, I know that Panja is a, a top, top, top player. He plays for Braga in Portugal. Having a lot of success. You know, sometimes it just doesn't go for you. You don't get that many chances against Brazil as it happens, but... Oh, and they've got their goal, just as we were saying that. And, of course, you saw moments ago, Antonio was booked for Brazil, and from the free kick, that followed. And the bounce, oh, it's just in front of Popo, and it takes it over him. Yeah, he deserved that after what happened to him in the first period when Bobo had the strike. And he gets one back for himself. Do you think it's... Uh, their approach has been different because it's a final, whereas normally they'd go for this game and try and win it by maybe eight goals as they get one there. No, I think and it is Rodrigo. I would say it's the way that the UAE have been able to make them play has been why, why the game's gone the way it has. I think it's more that the UAE have, have done really well to, to sort of minimalise their chances, even though being Brazil, they're still going to always pick up. Oh, and Brazil get another just to top it all off. And it is Breno Xavier. The empty net, UAE have a defender back there, but he's got the know-how to shoot the ball away from him. 